Hey, Arch, Sean again. Day 14. Once again, as I said, uh, this, this is going to be recorded the same day at uh, day 12 video because uh, I just want to get a few videos out of the way pre recorded. So that way I should play more League during the day. So, let's take a look. Um, Again, a very short game. And uh, 20, about 21 minutes into the game, I got two items, right? I'm working, I'm not what so you see the top watch thing, are oh, you going third item GA? No, I'm not going third item GA. If you look at the team comp, they have uh, him, him, him. They had some people who could be potential threat, even without being that fed. My wife, guy, don't do that. Don't, don't go lethal EMF. Lethal EMF, so, like, they're going to tap beat on a lethal EMF, dude. You're, you're not going to be about your auto, dude. You're, you're an alt. That's all you're going to be when you go that version of MF. So it said go things like Ninja Tabby or Lucidity Boots or something like that. Or Mert Tread or something. Alright, the, the person, well you want to do with MF these days, it's the Korean build that, and it's picked up a lot of popularity since it's Inception. You go press the attack, and then Inspiration to type there. First item, uh, Blade of Rune King. Then you can go into time like rapid fire cannon or straight into lethality. You'll be a more you'll be able to actually have reliable autos. Um and you won't be just your ult. But at the same time your ult will still do quite a shit ton of damage. You'll have let lethality in the build, but still a shit ton of damage. Through your ult. But at the same time you're not just your ult anymore. Personally, I'm not a big fan of MF in general as an ADT, even with the, you know, so-called Korean build. I don't really think it's that great. As an ADT, like, her all attack range is really short, and she doesn't really tail that well. Um, I personally just think, as an ADT, you, you should just be playing something that troll purpose is to tail, as you can see. I'm, I'm playing a Josiah who troll purpose is to scale, and take a look at my KDA by 21 minutes in. And now watch, watch what the damage chat is gonna say, okay? Okay? Be ready for that. You ready? So yeah, I went that because I just wanted to MF all. I didn't want to have to, like, blow a flash or something, so I have that to, to supplement. GA is probably gonna be, like, my fourth item of the game. Just because, uh, if you take a look at the team comp real quick. AD, AD. AD, he's support, but he's not really building support, which is weird. Um, he's magic, but he he jungle, so uh, he'd not be coming a threat anytime soon because he's a fucking Droth. So uh, he changed up clearing jungle. He not it's not like he's a one trip Droth either. He had like what three games on Droth, so uh, yeah. He I don't think he gained at all. But, uh, he had damage chat. Again! Again! Last video. Day 13. I had higher damage in the game. Day 12, I had second highest in the game. What the fuck is going on? I haven't even hit my hyper carry state yet, and I'm already doing the most damage out of everybody. Like, that. that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. And somehow a Galio mid is looting to... Wait a minute. Is he Galio mid or... No, 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 it's Kled mid. Somehow Kled mid... Or is it Rango mid? I don't even know who the fuck would mid in this game. I think it was Kled. So Kled mid is looting to a Kiana. Remember, Kiana is brand new. People don't know how to play it properly yet, for the most part. And the, on the PBE, at least, it seems like they had no damage. And she still seems like she doesn't really have damage even when she's fed. So, how the hell is Kled, who's pretty good into an assassin, a, you know, a melee attack, I should say, um, how did he... Like, he wasn't really dying to her. I guess her kill came from something else. Trump, I think Taroth, maybe? Or maybe Taroth would mid. I don't even fucking know what's going on. Like, yeah, Taroth would mid. So Roth was the one mid. Rango with jungle. It, it weirded me out to Roth 
with, and he went runic echoes. But he trying to do that fucking smite mid for AP chant thing that he he probably oh he probably watched a mid beat video and mid beat John like oh my god that's the way to go for mid laner now, you know smite mid back baby for mid, for mage it. it's like, no it it really isn't dude, like it's like oh it's a high level thing. Really, I'm looking at Challenger, I'm looking at Pro Play, I'm looking at fucking Grand Master, Master, and High Diamond, Diamond in general, and I'm seeing Zero Smite Mid. I'm seeing fucking Zero Smite Mid coming up on multiple diff on every website I'm looking at. So, uh, I don't think Smite Mid is back, Mid be Stop being Mid's informant. Like, he's hyping up fucking GLPI, saying, oh my god, GLPI is broken. Play it before you get nerfed, free elos, like, it's not that fucking good. Like, after you play it yourself, it's not that fucking good. I think Electrocute is better. Um, you know, like, he hyped things up way too much. Like, like TF mid, uh, TF with, you know, AD TF mid with Klepto. He's going, oh, it's so broken, it's uh, free elo, blah, blah, blah. No, don't, don't believe a word mid be to say, and he, he overhyped shit. Because, uh... Take a look at ADTF. Um, the only place you see it is Challenger. And the only person using it in Challenger is the person who created it. And he's a TF1 trick. With like 3 million fucking games on TF at this point. So, yeah. He's a one trick of the fucking champ. Of course, he could pull off weird shit on it. Because he knows how the champ functions. He created the build. So he knows what he needs to be doing with it. And people are just going, oh, Midbeat hyped it up. Oh, the Challenger player doing it, so it means it must be good. So I'm going to do it. No, don't mimic that. Even fucking Pro Guide now is fucking hyping TF Mid. It's like, uh, not TF Mid, but AD TF Mid. It's like, it's not that good. I have a friend who don't want to TF. He'd played, he'd played nothing but TF for the past five fucking years. And even he said, going AD on him is horrendous. It's not worth it. He doesn't have long enough auto range to make use of it. So you have to get really up close to people to do anything. You're just better going AP and just one-shotting people with, with AP birth. So yeah, don't just because you're seeing like mid beat or pro guys or fucking mobile edit hyping that shit up, it it ain't legit. Like they were at the third, at like the third nine point five or nine point six when, um, fucking glacial augmenter pop back up again. They were hy over hyping the glacial build for early saying, "Oh my god, so broken. Play it. It's free elo. Play it before it gets nerfed. It's gonna get nerfed in like the next patch." Had any nerf to early or the glacial augment set up happened? No. Why? Because it isn't as powerful as the thing. It's not free elo. It's deep, it's a good setup if your team already has a shit ton of damage on it and to that and to doesn't have any pick potential. Because Electric QA had good pick potential, but if the team is completely lacking pick potential altogether except for you and had plenty of damage at it, such as like a Vayne ADT, Matt Yi jungle, and it needs ways of getting on people, then going late to Armin is fine. You know, you'll drop your own damage down a wee bit. You won't be so much about attacks and eight in place. You'll just be a DC bot mage. Make your pits for your team. I don't think it's that great. I think Electric is just better in most scenarios. So, honestly, uh, I've, I've played both. I put an insane amount. I have 50 games on Glacial Build. And... No, actually, I actually have almost 100 on Glacial Build now. I have like 80. With like... 90 games of Electrocute. So like, I have a shit ton of games on both builds. And I can tell you from experience... Electrocute in most denials is just gonna be better. It's just gonna be better. In most denials. And if... It's like, what happens if you get behind lane? Then Electrocute does. Yeah, but here's the thing. Build GLP and, and trench out anyway. In the case that you're just 
struggling and laying game way behind, then yeah, just go into utility and survival items instead, which is what you basically do with Glacier Armament anyways. You can just do it with Electrocute. It's not optimal if you're ahead, it's better to go things like looting to just be a carry, but if you're just struggling and laying game way behind, then going into utility, like GLP and Twin Shadows, you're going to be fine. So even when you get behind, you still have options. But when you're ahead with Great Draw, man, it doesn't feel like you're ahead. You have no damage. So, yeah. Enough of that. Let's get on to that. I think I've kept you guys here chilling long enough. So, runes. Once again, grabbed. Um, I don't know how this keeps happening. But let's get into it. I think we made the enemy ADC raid crit this one as well. I know we made Ash raid crit. I know we made Kate raid crit. I think we made this ADC raid crit as well. Um, it's a very frustrating bot lane when uh, you're just getting run through. So yeah, that guy's randomly doing strike man. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I I love Kate's fucking Nami. Holy shit, her Nami knight. I just wish she would like use summon area for the shield. It it provides more poke in terms of Nami. Like Nami will be able to use um, summon area like eight times by the time to do Hurricane Common a second time, basically. So even though Arcane Comet had better damage and better sailing, you end up ultimately just doing more damage using a um, summonary. And on top of that, instead of jet being damaged, you it also adds utility in the sense that when you heal or uh, when you use your W or E on a teammate, you give them a shield, which can allow you to potentially block. Cause Nami had no shielding in her kit; she only had to heal and an all tap buff in her kit. So what you're doing when you give me a shield through a area, it it allow me to potent potentially it's gonna block some potential damage. And when you get into the later game, the shield from Terminary is gonna be even bigger because your early center, um, your redemption and stuff like that. And your heal's gonna be bigger as well. You you Nami turned great into the late game thing to that uh got a heal gets to be insanely high. And then with Terminary her shield gets insanely high. And then she's also not bad at T-Fights with that ult of her and her, you know, multiple perks in W. Being able to throw an E on the ADT to provide the ADT the ability to cast throw to the enemy. To, and that's really good. Like, Nami paired extremely well with fucking Uzziah because of that. That E will allow you to keep people in your feathers longer to allow you to set up more feathers behind them and to fuck the day up, to ruin the day. So let's take a look at what people starting items are going to be. So yeah, he went smite mid randomly. I don't know why the guy went smite mid. It's not back in my opinion. Like <laughs> it's not actually back. So they put to went Durant Blade. Um, this is not a Durant Blade lane for MF. This is a what's it called? A uh, Durant Shield lane because I outrange her, Nami outrange her. That I have poke, Nami had poke. So we're essentially just going to poke her out. So. It would be better to have Durant Shield to, to not get poked out. Um, well, the Shield in this lane is also very bad. Um, poke, poke, you know, there's a bit of poke going on. So we'll be able to do more damage than you'll be healing back with Relic Shield when you go up for a proc. When you tap up for a proc, which is going to poke you up. And it means you're not getting your Relic You'll get the Relic Shield proc. But it won't really, you'll heal back nothing because we just did more damage than what you would heal back. So you're lower than you, when you were when you tapped up. So it's just better. Yep, I hit that though. So that's good. Not a lot of damage until I have my E for the full poke, but um, that's why it's just better right now. So like gold coin would have been better starting item for him. MF had better early damage than me, but uh, and by the way, he fought that W up to hard. And why would you take W at level one? Like E would be better because like you have to walk. You're gonna have to basically flash that if you want to get it. They hit level 2 first, sadly. But we hit level 2 now as well. Oh, wait. Cled top, yeah. So Cled got first, blah, and more. So more to just... I think he feeds that game with the really dead. I'm like, oh my god, my health.
by the way, did, uh, dead and army. Yeah! Dunk matter! We dunked them. Yet, boy! We dunked. Get dunked on. Uh, uh, get dunked. Get dunked. And that tapped up with way too low a health, man. That's a, that's the issue with MF. You have no range in your kit. Your only range ability is basically that thing where a bunch of shots come down from the tie, but that does, like, net to no damage. Um, that's, like, your only real range to your kit, and even that is pretty short range when you can drop it. Um, so stepping up to take TX puts you at a huge risk. So you need to have a lot of health at the time when you do it. And I saw that she just didn't have enough health, and we quickly got on her and killed her. Because, like, oh, they put it up enough to get the way under half health. Uh, yeah, we can kill that. Um, we out my auto attack range outranged her. I actually have range abilities. Nami has range. Like, Nami's auto attack range outranged her, too, I think. If she can hit that bubble. And a knight. I wish I would have got that, but he was going to get away, so luckily he had a knight down on him. And now we've killed both the support and the ADT in the first three fucking minutes. Like, that had to be fucking tilting for this ADT. Because now T stuck under tower. If he's good, he won't step up in TS right now. Because it's very risky. We can get on we have enough mana and stuff to get on her. We have a level advantage too, I think. So, like, if we wanted to, we could very easily get on her. That normally has been very accurate with her bubble. Like, if he followed that up with a bubble... We could have potentially got her there because he's far enough out from tower that I could get on her and auto her. So she's showing no effect to the feathers I have down, which is really bad sign. It means he never played with a um, Zaya. She never played against a Zaya. She never used Zaya. She had no idea what the feather do, apparently. So. Because he's showing no effect to the feather combo. Oh, I missed that cannon. There's a the heal. By the way, no pet. No pet again. They're going for Nami, not me. So I'm using my heal there. I just want to get away. I don't think I'm going to, though. Oh, do I? I do. And she blew her flash. So flash, heal. And I think a knight went down there. So I used my heal there to create distance. Because I knew his uh, church was about to be up. So he was going to use that and taunt me and I'll be dead. Yeah. They went for the Nami, which is weird. They're annoying the ADT who actually going to be the one doing damage. So, by the way, we took that fight even though... Uh, wait, MF didn't... He got boots on her back. Um... Okay, I have a BF tour of mine. <laughs> so, uh, BF tour and Durant Blade. We definitely, if I remember right, we definitely take advantage of the fact that, uh, that all she has for damage items. It's a turning item. So. Oh, I actually forgot to put the timer up, didn't I? I did that in the other one, too. Didn't I? Oof. I gotta be careful, I have BF to run out, so. Ooh, they be careful. Galio had no mana. Ooh, am I stepping up? Doink! Double! Oh, 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 more did feeding. Oh, oh, but the bot lane feeding us. Oh, oh, so that's fine. We don't need more to get ahead. We just need him to basically be in front of us and tank shit for us. That's all we need out of him. Because you see, bot lane, well, I'm a winning bot lane. You know, take great support. He actually can hit her ability. He actually knows when to do things. He play support. When you have an actual support player that plays a shit ton of support, basically nothing but support, that's great. Because then you... Chances are they're going to be relatively good at how they protect in lane. He did die earlier and gave up a kill, but it was to Galio, not to MF. I'm like, dude, we shouldn't back. We should hit low just first. We 
we should try and hit Lautic before we back. That way we don't come back to lane and they're Lautic. If they get Lautic first, we could be very fucked. But yeah, when we come back to lane, when both not Lautic, we'll be very fucked. Because he's going to lethal the MF. Because he went Dark Herbert or King Comet. Ooh, I tried to do something there. But yeah, we blew the tom. They have like no tom now. And we both hit low tits. And by the way, it's MF is probably very annoyed <laughs> right now. T tier 2, T 10 farm down. I'm 3 tier 1, 10 farm up. And we're going to take a plate. We're trying to take a plate because uh, the more gold we get, the better. Sadly, I do wish Nami would have liked bat and let me take that play solo. Cause that would have been very good for me. Having 150 gold instead of 80, but it's alright. Because as, as a support, you, whenever it's possible, you probably should let your ADT to get solo play. By taking fun that back and top. Or not even being in lane. Just to let them have the solo play. Because 150 is huge on an ADT. But nonetheless... Hopefully we can get first tower, because you kind of usually want your ADT game first blood tower, because the only because when they get plate, the on the usually a lot of times only getting eighty gold per plate. So if they can get the first blood as well, it will definitely help a lot. So they have one plate themselves, but I think we had two, so they really should not be trying to take place right now. They're very over and they're very weak. <laughs> MF had... Literally, I, I have a Warhammer and Double Tap P Dagger. So I went the Double Dagger um, because I didn't have enough gold for um, the crit piece of Essence Reaver. So I went Double Dagger because one will build into my Zeal item and one built into my boots. So And plus, it'll put all my gold I went back with to use. By the way, I don't yet to use my... Uh, Starting potion that's uh, pretty sad that they haven't been able to make me use that. But we knew MF had ult, or like we're not trying to gain the long engagement up close to her because then to ult us, so it's like it, right now we're just trying to be patient about it. Ooh, Rango bot too, so. Andre Warwick should be able to kill Rango. He deal two. And Warwick at 2 2. So MF is out of range, so it's 30 to go on Galio. And Rango behind. Trying to take my Nami. I got him. Now we're going for them. Oof. Woo. And we got Galio too. So it was basically a 3v3 and we won it. They got one, we got two. So. And remember, they did use... Uh, we didn't have Nami ult for that one. Should have betted that... Uh, we saw Rango was chilling around here bot. So it was clear he was going to try and get into the bushes. To try and get us when we stepped up. So Warwick should have been looking out for that, being careful about that one. There to flash. If he didn't flash there, I would have had that. That's the advantage of my W let me stay on top of her once I've autoed her while it's active. I don't know why Gallo's going straight AP. He should be going uh, utility with like disease converge and stuff like that to support your team. If he wants AP, he could go early tenter. Don't like Yami, Nami take a few of those so we can get to lane 4 AP. Take a few of those. Don't like, yeah, I'll take drag. It's a free drag. It, 
and it's a good drag for me as well. Remember, I the movement speed one, so uh, movement speed is really good for me. So, like, I really want it. Like, when I'm a mid laner, I don't want it. I don't care about it. But, because it, like, does nothing for really just about anyone on the team. The only person it really does something for is me. Hey, we got her. She was really dumb doing that. So, I'm asking Warwick, hey, help me take this real quick. And he takes them, like, really? 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 You should be nice and let your ADT take that. All you really need is, like, the, you should be letting your lane take those from time to time. Because it's a very big thing. It's a very good thing for them to get. But since you just took that kill on MF, and so it didn't go to me and stuff, would have been good to take that subtle for me. Would have been good for me to get it, but, uh, So, yeah, you need to join straight lethality. I don't agree with that, as I said. I'm going to go ball. I think they have mid-handled, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go ball here. I'm going to DMF down there. I'm going to go, oh, shit, yeah, all right. I don't want them taking a ton of plate. It'll help them catch up to us, so. I'm going to try and stop that. I don't want them taking a ton of plates. Or even taking the tower. The first blood tower hasn't even gone down yet. And as I said, I kind of want to get first blood. So. And honestly, if Rango comes and tries to make it a 3v2, we win the 3v2. Because I have my ult up. So we should, e we should be able to win it anyway. And that was a terrible W. After he failed his engage with his E, he should not have used his W. Because now both those builds are on cooldown. He had no TT unless he used his ult. There's Gally ult. There, baby! Ah, uh, fucking Mord got it. I wanted that first blood. You should generally let your ADC have it. But keep in mind, at the top lane and mid lane, you get double plates. So you get a lot of gold that way. But your ADT doesn't get double plates most of the time. That's how it works out. So they only get half the gold of the plate. So it's good to let them take solo play, uh, not troll play, but, oh, he's here. So I'm like, okay, we fight that, dude, we fight that. But then MF comes on, like, oh, okay, no, we don't fight that, we don't fight that, we don't fight that, MF here now. Oof. Woo! Way too close. Way too close. So if MF hadn't come, we legitimately would have took that fight. Because, I like, it's a lot to chill in the boat, dude, we kill him. We legitimately just kill him. Not a lot he'll be able to do. He's not very strong. He's two and three. And he he will die very quickly, two of us. So, but then uh, MF and got there and it's like, okay, nope, we back out of this now. We back out of this now. Cause the ult should be coming up before too long. I keep a mental track in my head. Yeah, you see right there off to the side though. During the game, I'll keep a mental trap, but here you can keep a trap to her board time with almost back up. It probably wouldn't have been back up in time for that fight, but I'll keep a mental timer. Like, it should be up any second now, so, like, it's too risky. Plus, I'm half health and MF coming in full HP. Not worth taking it. If if it was Galio instead of MF, then, yeah, we could take it, but it would MF instead, so. Here we go. See the huge gold lead bot lane has right now, dude. We got like almost every plate on that tower. 
And remember, now we got his deal item, so. And we're two levels ahead of, I'm two levels ahead of MF. Nami's one level ahead, so I'm queuing there to see if anyone's chilling. I'm like, no one's chilling. Put a ward. That way we can see them coming. Did I get that? I think I got that. So another mountain, not mountain, a uh, cloud, I think it is. So that's huge for me. Just more movement speed, I think. Nope, does it seem like I'm getting, nope, maybe I am? Yeah, I'm getting movement speed, okay. I don't know why he jumped in there. Um, We just tell you that guy now because he's the closest threat. Rango got a little away. It's a kill! Oh, yeah, man. Oh, bullet time. We know that down now. I knew it was up, so it's like, we had to be careful about that. Like, don't die, don't die, don't die, Nami. Oof. So I had chillin' bot. I'm like, let's just try and take the tower. We can take it pretty quickly. I'm like, dude, just get on the tower. You have a tower proc. I'm like, dude, you had a tower proc. You did to take the tower quicker, dumbass. God damn, man. More to giving up five kills. Hey, am I the only one clean on the team? Yeah, I'm the only one that had to die. Wow. You think that enemy team would be focusing the crap out of me right now? Because uh, I'm a hyper care ADT. I'm a throwing it late game champ. And uh, as you can see, I'm kind of snowballing this game. Or snowballing it hard. Like, I, I have the highest amount of kills on our team as well. It's like, and I haven't even died yet. So I have a huge ton to go to bounty. <laughs> And yet the enemy team just had not tried to focus me much. I'm like, oh, we fight that dude. We fight that Droth. Like, hit the bubble or something and, and we fight that. Here we go. <laughs> I think they surrender here, dude. Come to 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 Yeah, they're probably about to surrender it. Cue it real quick to see if anyone's in there. No one not. We're coming up behind this wave. Oh man, dude. My tire is so clean. Three trait. Wait, that three trait game tried didn't die. <laughs> oh, they tried to. <laughs> I knew they were about to, man. It's so disappointing. Like, they still could have potentially come back. It was potentially possible, but whatever. That they turned to there to me, no chance of coming back. Like, I get they were getting annoyed and tilted, but they really shouldn't have turned to that one. Like, that was winnable. They could have salvaged that game until one. Because we hadn't taken an inhibitor yet. We hadn't taken an inhibitor tower yet. So, like, top lane is the most pushed in lane right now. So, it's literally just a matter of being safe and, you know, not dying anymore. But at the same time, look at the team going by. Rango, fault off herd, and by the way, he already fell off by, he already fell off by then because, uh, take a look at his KDA, he wasn't really doing much. He's wanted for it. He already fell off. MF, ADT, that falls off because he went, one, MF in general will fall off even if you go to Bork build. Bork build doesn't fall off at herd though. 
the build of her that falls off the herd is it, her lethality build, where it's just pure lethality. Where it makes you basically nothing but ult. Um, that build is what falls off the herd. It, the boy build doesn't fall off at herd, but it still falls off in comparison to a lot of other ADTs. Um, then they have Kled. Kled's an okay champ, but I don't think he's going to do that much team fight wise. Galio, Galio support, not going to do that much. Droth is basically the biggest threat they had, and uh, that Droth wasn't doing that well. He went for that. Went for that really weird smite mid build. Guys, smite mid is not back. Stop thinking it is. It is not. Like, you never see it. Except for, like, in high challenger. And even then, it's like... That high challenger player had played, like, 30 straight games with mages and only done it once. So, yeah. If it's really back, then he would have been doing it more. You know, you'll see it more if it was actually back. It's just something people are trying to get to come back, and it's not coming back. <laughs> it's all honesty, it's just better going looting to a fucking GLP. Or something else. Like, it's just not that great. Because, keep in mind, you're lacking a summon, of, you're only having flash, so you're lacking a fucking at night. It really only that great if you take until spell book, but then you're missing a damage rune. And onto your bow bug, it's just like a meh kind of boom. That you really don't see on any champ at the moment. Because it's just... Every other room is just better. Inspiration to treat... If you go the Inspiration route, it's like, well, you have great to augment. So that's great on Mage, if you're going to go into the GLP setup. Uh, it's Klepto, which is great on, like, everything else. <laughs> like, it, it, like, what is going to really you onto your bow bug? Even that Untilled Bell, but Oriana built it fell off the map. Like, it, it showed up a few games in, like, high Grandmaster and, like, high Challenger and stuff, and then just disappeared altogether. Why? Because it's, it's a meh. It's a meh thing. It's a very meh, meh, like a very meh kind of thing. Not that great. But, uh, there we go. A bit more ADT for you. Um, you know, I get that. <laughs> Again, the Nami, man. The Nami. Very good Nami. It's great having a support that isn't shit, okay? I'm just gonna tell you that. But you start to hitting like every fucking bubble. It's very nice. It's very nice. Constantly forcing out people to summon a boat. Um. And then when the thumb took down, they're dead. And Mango did very little of the game. He didn't get much involvement. If you're wondering how much involvement, well, take a look. They have 12 kills. He had one-third of them. He had participated in one-third. Like, that's pretty bad for a Vango. You should be having, like, 90% kill participation. Because you you fall off quite hard. There's not going to be that much you can do. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, hit that like button and all that other sh shizzle kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm a cool kid now. <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, a uh, little magic trick. Click on that little uh, thumbs up button. It looks like a camel. It'll, and, magic trick, it'll turn blue. It'll be a blue camel when you click it. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. I'm a great YouTuber. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.